Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should actually go chasing for trying to pull for the new Kingdom Hearts 3 Anti Aqua Medal. Okay. Now, for many of you, you have been waiting for this medal for the longest time, regardless <laughs> of what the medal does, okay? Strictly for the artwork and such, okay? And if that happens to be one of you, uh, then this video is probably not for you just because of the fact that I'm going to be approaching from more of a uh, meta aspect as well as a more value gameplay wise type of perspective okay so for those of you that just want it just simply for the aesthetics you're you're more than welcome to do so <laughs> there's no one stopping you but for everybody else stick around uh for my advice okay so first of all right here we have the jp version of the game uh the aqua metal came in this banner right here to be honest it's basically following the exact same standard of the kingdom Hearts 3 banners that we've been receiving the entire time which is where you know recently we've been free to play would get 10 pull mercies and vip players would get five pull mercies now personally for me Every single new Kingdom Hearts 3 banner that comes out now with this format is complete trash to me. Just because they're just adding more and more medals to the pool where the likelihood of actually getting a good medal just goes down every single new banner that they add, okay? Which makes me less and less uh, wanting to even pull for them in the first place, okay? The other reason why uh, it's probably not the greatest is because personally for me I hate I absolutely hate the fact you only have a one in three chance of getting a medal that you want um, it's, it's just not satisfying at all it it's not a true mercy okay you're basically getting a mercy for more RNG which completely de defeats the whole point of the mercy in my and to be honest in my opinion um, personally for me, I don't believe that it's worth pulling for pretty much because of those two reasons. Uh, the fact you only get one in three and the fact that it is a 10 pull mercy or five pull mercy, depending on if you're a VIP or not. And I just, I just don't think it's worth it. But real quick, cause I know I haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, in case you don't know what the metal does, uh, let me pull it up real quick so you can, so you can see it. So Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Anti-Aqua. All right, she's a tier nine metal, costs five gauges, is AOE, does four hits, has a seven star multiplier of a 40.43 to a 51.83. Provides, for one turn, provides 15 tiers of general strength buffs, uh, 10 tiers of magic strength buffs, 15 tiers of reverse strength buffs, uh, minus 10 tiers of magic defense debuffs, and minus 15 tiers of reverse defense debuffs. Provides 170% guilt boost, reflects 100% of all magic damage back at the opponent. Keep in mind that you still take the damage, you just simply reflect an equal amount back at the opponent. And she does more damage with one enemy or zero parts left. Her supernova is an AoE supernova, has a times 110 to a 160 multiplier, uh, goes to a 150 to 200 when involved with Meow Wows, starts off with a 200% guilt boost, goes to 250% when involved, and the supernova has a 30% chance to ignore enemy defense skills. That's basically just for PvP. Uh, I didn't put it on the card, but the Supernova also does four hits. So each hit has a 30% chance to ignore the enemy's defense skills upon activation. Now, I already have quite a few thoughts about the new metal. Uh, I've already made a different video on the topic discussing why if they don't do anything to rein in uh, or balance the reflectability in general, then it's it's literally going to destroy PvP. But again, I highly recommend you watch that video instead because in my opinion, it's probably one of the few times where a new metal ability is actually concerning towards the, uh, in a way, the death <laughs> of, of the game. Or at least for PvP, the death of PvP. So I highly, highly recommend you, you check that out. But in terms of the metal itself, uh, the metal is pretty good. For PvE purposes, so excluding PvP, it's pretty good. 
Uh, the multiplier and damage is definitely very good. Okay, the multiplier is really good. Um, it's one of the strongest uh, magic reverse metals in the game at the moment. Uh, on top of the fact, it also has one of the highest strength values in the game as well, too. It's, it's pretty much the same strength value as a, uh... Key art number 20 is. Key art number 20 has, has a base strength value of like 22,000, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so, Anti Aqua also has that same exact strength value of 22,000, just starting off alone. That's with no traits at all whatsoever, which is absolutely insane. Uh, so, on top of having a really good multiplier, it's not the best multiplier, but still really good. Uh, but it also has a ridiculously high strength value, which in some cases is probably more important. But overall, whether or not I think you should actually pull for this medal, to be honest, uh, if you're not interested in PvP, it should be an obvious skip. Uh, even if you are interested in PvP though, I would probably recommend not pulling for the medal, just because of the fact that there's just too much RNG involved in the actual banner. The banner is not that great at all whatsoever. I really hate the fact that they add, they make it so it's a 1 in 3 chance on a Mercy. I, I, I really dislike that. So, But anyways, those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when, you up, when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kinemotsu Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.